Hi, I'm Lance and this is my video review, my very first one, I must be trying to be Bernard Hickey, of the New Zealand Herald website's new shopping tab. Now the reason I'm doing a video review is that this thing's a little bit complicated. And so bear with me. So the first thing is when I hit that shopping tab, I was surprised that I didn't end up at here, which is Seller. And now Seller is owned 50% by the New Zealand Herald's parent organisation, APN, and it's a little bit of a surprise that I didn't use it. But Seller is more of an auction website, I guess, and not a straight e-commerce website. The other place it could have gone is, of course, to Finder, where you can find places to buy things. Not really so much online. Um, there are wannabe Yellow Pages competitor. Uh, I wish them well. Uh, really do. Uh, but uh, they're not an e-commerce solution. So what they've done is that they've glommed into their website this e-commerce solution. You can tell it's been just shoved into the website because the look and the feel is subtly different from the New Zealand Herald's own website itself. That follow us on Twitter, the NZ Herald logo and the blue bar, everything above that is New Zealand Herald's and everything below that is provided by someone else. What I don't like about this page is that there's nothing that I see that I want to buy. So I'd like to see more of the things, I guess, shifted up, get rid of the newsletter and the sign and, and show me more things to buy. But what I do like is that it's nice and simple. It's not pretentious, it's just straight, boring e-commerce. And that's exactly what it should be. Big photos, big prices, and big buy now buttons. So good stuff. Now it's provided by someone called hubster.co.nz and Hubster launched recently with Yahoo Extra in a similar way. And there's their website, it looks very similar. You've got the tabs on the top, you've got a bit of Yahoo Extra across on the right hand side, but once again, you can see that it's another person's website being essentially shoved inside the original one and reskinned to look kind of like it belongs there. So, who is Hubster? Well, the first thing is they had a previous name of The Deal Limited, and The Deal is, of course, a website that already exists and has for some while. And The Deal, what they used to do was import cheap stuff I guess or, or deals from overseas and put it onto their website and sell it cheap. I've never used them but uh, they've been around for a while I guess. But when we look at the tabs for each of these websites and that's when we see what's, that they're very very similar. And the only tab that's not common to all three websites, Yahoo, Extra, The Deal and Entered Herald is this Entertainment and Books tab which The, the Deal has and I'm guessing the other two sites didn't want. So, I decided to search for some wine to see what the difference was between the sites. The first site was New Zealand Herald's website, and I got a whole bunch of stuff, but I actually didn't get any wine, which is disappointing. Um, I did note that SLI systems provide the search, and that's really good. It's learning, and hopefully it'll learn over time that when I search for the word wine, I actually want to get the red and the white stuff. I went then to Yahoo Extra's website, and found exactly the same stuff for exactly the same prices, although they did have a bottle of wine in the top left hand corner. Just one note to all three sites, when I'm looking for wine, I don't really want to see the, the price for 12 bottles, I'd rather see the price per bottle, so it makes me feel like I'm not spending 250 bucks. And finally, I went to the deal.co.nz's website and did the same search, and I just kept on getting an error. It's a beautiful error, but it's an error nonetheless. And they tell me that SLI will go into their website, but after the, they cope with the rush that they've got right now. So good for them, client first. I decided then to go for a, a browse for wine. And I um, saw some wine there on the deal.co.nz, saw some more wine here on Yahoo Extra, slightly different look, and finally some more wine here on the New Zealand Herald. Big different look, there was a big gap in the site, but that was filled later on when I went back a few hours later and you can see it looks okay now. I will say in all of the browsing I did today I didn't find anything that I wanted to buy and that's not a good sign for an e-commerce website. It should be easier for me to see something that I want to buy. Let's go back to the hubster on coys.co.nz and see that the second biggest shareholder is K1W1 or Kiwi. Um, the, the biggest shareholder is Paul O'Shaughnessy and Paul was the founder of the deal. Um, so K1W1 is actually the investment vehicle of Sir Stephen Tyndall and he of course was the founder of the warehouse. Now he did invest in his personal capacity 
but it is interesting because the warehouse has its very own e-commerce solution already and so it's kind of double dipping the next shareholder is Donna Fife Donna is married to Rob Fife and Rob is standing in front of an airplane because he runs Air New Zealand and Air New Zealand is New Zealand's largest e-commerce player if you measure it by dollars so you've got the biggest retail player in the warehouse and the biggest e-commerce player in Air New Zealand all playing in the same sandpit now they're not playing in their professional firm capacities I hasten to add they're playing as individuals but it's interesting nonetheless the next shareholder is Alistair Helm and Alistair runs a very big website himself um, it's called uh, Real Estate Dakota NZ that's his blog um, real estate side has obviously got thousands of properties for sale and uh, and also Zoodle which is uh, this is pretty much every house in New Zealand and you can you can look for it so he's also got a good understanding of, of e-commerce to be fair to all of those people I don't believe any of them really got into uh, the website when they're in their professional capacities but I'm not sure Yahoo Extra is owned 51% by Yahoo Australia and New Zealand and that is Yahoo 7 Yahoo 7 is in turn um, they have their own actual shopping website here it is um, they've got a lot of eBay action going on on their website which is interesting uh, they are owned by Yahoo USA and uh, by Media 7 and Media 7 is owned by Kerry Stokes and KKR with a few other shareholders uh, thrown in for good so it's a very interesting group of people that are involved in this little venture the other side of Yahoo Extra is of course Telecom there's our favorite logo but let's have a look at that Coys list again and see who that first director was Ralph Bryan we recognize that name because he used to run another e-commerce website in New Zealand and that of course was Ferret now Ferret was a disaster as we all know but it was trying to attack a part of the market where, e where sorry, trade me wasn't and they did a lousy job at it but what I believe the Herald and uh, the rest of the people involved in this are trying to do is still attack that same ground they're trying to get to the place where trade me isn't and the reason they're all together like this all these people you'd never seen together is that trade me is the monster in the market and Fairfax by linking up with trade me doesn't have to worry about the loss of their classifiers or you know getting shopping revenue online all they have to worry about is making sure they keep their hands off trade me so they can keep growing the way they've been growing for the last 10 years but I do give New Zealand Herald credit um, I do give all the players here credit for giving it a go there is a space there trade me has got the, all of the market so far but there's plenty more market growth left e-commerce in New Zealand is at a very early stage so good on you guys, uh, keep going, I want to see it get better and better over time obviously and uh, who knows, uh, maybe uh, there will be some more surprises coming forward. Cheers.